x axis y axis then i want the force acting on the particle so what we'll do is like a given function is 4x plus 6y i'll differentiate this differentiate with respect to x and with respect to y so du equal to 4dx plus 6dy Uh, this you may find very difficult so I'll, I'll do one thing differentiating with respect to x i'll write it uh. and and we'll get the x component of force minus du by dx so minus 4 newton what do you mean by minus 4 minus 4 i cap because force is a vector similarly differentiating with respect to y du by dy equal to 6 and fy equal to minus du by dy hmm? if you get a potential g function if you differentiate with respect to x you'll get x component of force acting on it if you differentiate with respect to y y component of force if some z is also there differentiate with respect to z you'll get the z component of force acting on it once again, sir, this fx and fi, are they conservative? Yes, they are conservative force. Now, what is the total force acting on a particle? fx bar plus fi bar minus 4i cap minus 6j cap. So, this particular particle which is here, so what will happen to it? It is going to experience a force. One x component of force this is a y component of force and it is having a mass m so will there be any acceleration so due to this ax should be equal to fx by m what is fx fx equal to 4 mass of the particle 2 so 2 meter per second square is acceleration along x axis similarly acceleration along y axis fy by m fy is how much 6 6 by 2 3 meter per second square it is least from rest the forces are acting towards left not not retardation don't write minus here it's a speed is going to increase the force will be towards left it's going to accelerate along negative x-axis along negative y-axis don't write here minus as a retardation please you have to understand some basics here huh? just mathematical thinking then i can't help you uh, no, because of uh, how, how the object object will move in a plane object will move in a plane so now we have accelerations along x along y so how do it it will move in a plane so it will move in a plane means don't try it a straight line look at this one now now you know projectile motion all the things it will move in a some curved path then what is the time taken by it to cross the x axis so, and at what speed it will cross where it will cross that also we can find out hmm? so first we'll uh, uh, it will cross here no we need mm, yeah. mm, now, now we'll take the thing that one so y is equal to a y T y square because it is released from rest so what is the, it will have y displacement and, and it will undergo x displacement x naught y naught I'll write it huh? that'll be now what is y naught y naught is 4 a y is 3 by 2 t y square so t y equal to root 8 by 3 seconds then after what time it will cross the x axis that should be equal to x naught equal to ax tx square by 2 x naught will be 6 ax will be 2 can we calculate the speed when it is crossing the <coughs> y-axis so that let me call that point as 1 v1 y v1 y should be a simple ay ty Ay, Ay is 3, Ty is root 8 by 3. So root 24 of 
टू रूट सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड वट इज एक्स कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ वेलॉसिटी वेन इट इज क्रॉसिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट वी वन एक्स वी वन एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू ए एक्स इंटू टी वाई ए एक्स इज हाउ मच टू इंटू टी वाई इज रूट एट बाई थ्री so where do it will be somewhere somewhere here the point 1 so it it will be having a velocity like this v1 then 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 so which time is greater tx or ty first sir, will it sir here ty will be time taken to cross x axis sir correct no Sir, in one. Sir, in velocity, I think. Uh, yes, sir. You, you wrote t x for x notch. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, v v x, yes. No, I'll I'll come to later on. This only to reach point one. Again, it will cross the x axis somewhere here. Okay. I think. Uh, okay, sir. Yes. Mathematics symbols try to avoid <laughs> learn the concept here. So somewhere here it will cross. When it crossing, it will have v two. Okay, this is the time t y. This is the time t x. Uh, which time will be more? Definitely t x will be more. So first it will cross the x axis. Then it will cross the y axis. Mm -hmm. If you want, okay, okay, this one. The symbols. First it will cross the x axis. No. Okay, I'll, I'll do one thing. First, it will touch the x-axis. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll change symbols. Some of you are getting confusion. T y. Okay, this is T y. This is T x. First, it will cross the x-axis. V mm, one y equal to a one y T x. Oh, only, only just I change its symbol. Okay, now now similarly v two y, we can write it as a y into t y. a y is how much? Uh, where is a y? Three. t y is how much? Root six. Uh, then similarly v two x. v two x will be a x into t x. a x is how much? Two. t x is root eight by three. Uh, first it will so which will be greater t y is greater time taken to cross the y axis t x is the time taken to cross the x axis t y is greater so first the particle will touch the x axis then it will touch the y axis and how it will be moving it will be moving in some plane L like this it will be not straight line no? it should not be straight line at least some curved path will show it when it is crossing those we can also we can can we get the coordinates where it to cross as apply kinematics and work out huh? can we calculate this coordinates of this point b and c i think you know kinematics from there you can even tell at what points it will cross the axis so only very simple if they give potential you what you are going to do by differentiating you will get the force from the force acceleration then again the kinematics approach but one very important uh, f equal to minus du by dx that is what you have to remember because a conservative force whenever we define potential it is for conservative force only sir v2 it should be ax into ty no mm -hmm. here v2x ax into ty Mm, yeah, fine. How about this tx? The time at which find the instant of time at which crosses the axis. Telling I am also calculate given the velocities how to calculate. After getting velocities, again you can go for even the positions also you work out. Uh, anybody having doubt, please clarify.
this is one method of if they give potential energy how to calculate the uh, what is the use of that from potential energy we can calculate the force sir there uh, v2 x should be 2 root 6 sir yes sir ty root 6 ty what i wrote root 6 root. Mm, yeah a uh, speed of particle should increase or decrease should increase no definitely you check v2 will be greater than v1 because it is being accelerated no no doubt uh, how to calculate v1 v1 is v1 is what is check it v2 will be greater than v1 we have to make all observation not just okay i got the answer sir thank you very much all other things you are supposed to analyze now scroll down you have to see you have to accept this from potential g differentiating will get a force from force will get an acceleration okay fine conservative field total mechanical energy sum of potential plus kinetic when potential is minimum kinetic energy is maximum one is maximum other should be minimum because overall energy is constant so all these are ideas now now you have to repeat it 100 times during class only oh uh, total mechanical energy sum of potential plus kinetic sum of potential plus kinetic like this some thousand times you tell to yourself this what should happen in the class the one which is memory should be memorized one which is where you are supposed to think you should think See, your physics class is not like cartoon network <laughs> so it should be like all all things should go on hmm? so i don't think so uh, things are not that easier here so much of observation you have to make it hmm oh, that one so when class gets over no you should hold your head oh my god i was so stressed this was happen huh? so now uh, potential g can be a function of x can be function of y can be function of xy also if it is a function of xy then then what we are going to do you see that if we differentiate with respect to x you'll get x component of force if we differentiate with respect to y y component of force next week we are going to explore more numericals based on this just uh, like its introduction next week we are going to discuss about the equilibrium that we we'll learn in detail uh i think uh, uh, somebody has asked this doubt i am unable to recollect the name anybody asked me to uh, explain this i told you just wait hmm? i got vishal yourself huh? yes sir someone asked in the group sir i did not yeah, yeah. go picture and Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Hmm. Now, uh, okay. shall shall we take help of the concept? What we know because now we know potential is given. We can calculate force. Okay. Hmm. Find the minimum kinetic energy which this block must be projected towards the origin so that block can reach the origin. And I I am bringing friction also. Can we consider mechanical energy? The answer is no. We have to apply the work energy theorem. Now let let's proceed with the. at x equal to 10 meter okay the x equal to 10 meter is the point a will take and b is here